here at Chase Field. Wow! Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers and Yankees. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. Getting his 500th home run to right field. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, the second of four between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Robert Gesellman, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, last outing, solid outing. Gave him six full innings, but he took the loss. But if you give this club that kind of a quality outing, a lot of times you're going to walk away with a W. If he does that again this game, I think he's got a chance to win. And that'll bring up a Ledmus Diaz. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Weather not much of an issue tonight. A mild 65 degrees here at game time. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. What's this lineup have to do tonight in order to get a W here on the road, HR? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Coming to the plate now, Dexter Fowler. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Now, Matt, Dave Lawrence can remind you a lot of James Kingsley. He comes from that old school of the hit your spots. He's going to call it. He has a tendency to call one side of the play. Look at more than the other. Here's Matt Carpenter. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Here we go, guys. Come on. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Two out success means Randall Gritch will bat this inning. Well, a couple things with that base hit right there by the three hitter. One, he thought he was going to get out of this inning pretty easy. And now you put him in a stretch. The middle of this lineup is no joke. He can find himself in danger real quick. Into the box now. Rendell Gritchick. A breaking ball taken on the inside corner. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. One left for the Cardinals. Cardinals zero, Mets coming to bat. It's a rematch of the 2006 NLCS, and it's on the show. Michael Walker, the right-hander from the state of Iowa, gets the starting assignment. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's really had a tough time his last three outings. ERA over nine. That's basically giving up a run and inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball, though, and anytime you get the ball, you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. In now, Jose Reyes. 
And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Soft liner to the right side. And Reyes is aboard with a leadoff single. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Well, this is the recipe they want. Their pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the inning. Good start. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a cutter down around his shoe tops as he hops out of the way. And Harold, we take a look at the Cardinals entering play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6 and 2 over their previous eight ball games. Pitch inside the throw, and it's not in time. So Reyes has himself a stolen base. So he's into scoring position here in the home half of the first following the stolen bases. We check out the teams that have run the most here this season. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. None out. Runners at first and second. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The 3 2 one more time. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Fowler. Still going back. Out of here. Into the visitors' bullpen. So a three run shot to right center field. Home run number nine on the year. And the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. In now, Jay Bruce. And he takes a cold strike, too. Here we are in the first inning. We're watching adjustments be made. After giving up that extra base hit, now that's better location. He's going to have a better day if he does that. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Fowler has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? You want to watch the team put the ball in play? This is the team you want to watch. They are last in the league in strikeouts. One through nine, they put the ball in play. They put pressure on you. It's going to be a fun watch to see how they battle the other team's pitchers. Here's Neil Walker. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And the pitch on two and one. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Grounded back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit call. This is a good jump start for him. Standing in now, Curtis Granderson. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Back goes Fowler. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. 
A two run home run for Curtis Granderson. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Mets have got it up to a 5 0 game now. Boy, not the way he'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Moving under it, Grichik. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting eight. Standing in, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here it comes on nothing and two. And the changeup is way low that time. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Diaz brings it in. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. It's the Mets five. And the Cardinals nothing. At the plate, Stephen Piscotti. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Well, that was a good changeup right there. You see how he swung through that ball? Man, he's got him thinking now because that was clearly an indication he was looking fastball and got fooled. Very weakly on the ground. Another 1 2 delivery. Ball fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Conforto is there. Makes the play one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Johnny Peralta now, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. In there, a base hit. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets seven. caught. This is a hot streak he's on right three. now, so you take advantage of it. Jen Ride it while it's Jerko. good. Into the box now, Jed Jerko. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Granderson. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting eight, the catcher, number four. Here's the catcher, Yadier, Yadier, Yadier Molina. Molina. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Now the one-two coming to Molina. Three. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Cards leave one. They can't chip into that five-nothing deficit. Into the box, Robert Gesellman will step in to lead things off here for the Mets with the top of the order, Jose Reyes to follow. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. He might still be thrown off of that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Cardinals. Well, this team is really going to be busy today. You look at how this pitcher's been struggling all season. All you got to do is look at that ERA. That tells me he's given up a lot of balls hit, and the defense is going to be very, very busy in this one. So one away here with the bases empty, and the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. The high fastball is in there. One out, nobody on. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Riding in once again as Drupal Cabrera. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Favorable call in there for a strike. Runners on first with one down. Runners on the move for second. In the dirt here. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. And a bad time for that as the runner takes second here. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead, and now they've got a chance to add on to it. Spin and a throw back to second, but the runners back easily. Now a spin and another throw back to second, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. He pulls this one into right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. He did a big three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. This is pulled into right. Piscotti is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Mets leave one, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Now to the plate, Michael Walker. 9-1-2 and two due up. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Boy that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes that elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that hey they can do something with that but most of the time you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box a Ledmus Diaz as he lifts it in the air to right field. Bruce has a read on it two down. Center fielder number 25. Dexter Stepping in and ready Fowler. for another shot. Dexter Fowler. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a two out single. So instead of leading off the following inning, Matt Carpenter bats next with two away. 
great execution. You hit it where it's thrown, right? That ball's thrown right up the middle. He hit it right back up the middle. A lot of hits in the middle. In now, Matt Carpenter. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And they won't get Fowler as he takes second with E. It's a little surprising to see them risking base runners by stealing down this many early in the game, but they're choosing to be aggressive. Might work out if they can drive him in now and chip away at that deficit. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count that gets him excited. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One left for the Cardinals. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Again, a one two. Started to the chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Here's the one and one pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Here comes Waka on a one two. Pulled toward right center field. And this is taken in by Fowler for the first out. Now batting. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Digging in for his second at-bat, Curtis Granderson. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. And Granderson swings and misses that time as he's down on strikes for route number two. Baseman, Looked to me like four. he had the right idea with the Wilmer. swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position okay, now with two away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. 
And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. Your attention, there goes Cardinal manager Mike Matheny on his way out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Alex Reyes is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Coming to the plate now, Robert Gesellman. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. High in the air out to center field. Fowler has a read on it, and the inning is over. Mets leave them loaded as they're unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Here's Randall Gritchick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Into the box now. Steven Piscotti down the third baseline but a foul ball one and two now here he comes on a ball and two strikes oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off but he swings through the inside pitch anyway and he becomes out number two I'll tell you it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup back to back to back he's looking really sharp right now Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. It was a walk in his last trip. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Ball two. Well one thing about him. He's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And this is fouled at the plate. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Chop foul at the plate and the count holds it 2-2. Two and 2-2 two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Change up stayed low that time for ball three. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The throw into second. And he is in there. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Into the box, Michael Conforto. And he misses two and one. Five runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. 
Now a look and a throw back to second. And the runner will get back standing. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Nope. And a fastball just a bit high. Due next is the dangerous Jay Bruce. Here it is on three and one. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and the runner back easily. Runners are at first and second with one away. Ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And a good cut there, but it's chopped foul at the plate, and it's full now, three and two. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe out. Ready for another second shot second. now. Neil Walker. Neil. He's one Walker. for two in the ball game. Second and third, two away. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Set to deliver on two and one. There's a changeup over the outside corner. All even at two and two. Here it is. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with another 2 2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. In to score, the runner from third. And the second run will score as this suddenly is now a 7 0 ball game. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter. This guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags, he makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. In now, Curtis Granderson. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. 0-2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Piscotti racing back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Well, Matt, he's homered in this game. Drives in a run right there. This is his third First RBI of the ball game. Four. He's doing his part. Wilmer Morris. Pickoff move to second. Three runs already home here. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. Outside, two and one. Man, it's been a long inning. He's grinding through it. Look, he's got an open base. And I, any other time, I'd say maybe pitch around it. But you can clearly see this inning's taking a toll on him right now. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And gone up into the second deck. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Third home run for him on the year as the blowout continues. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? 
There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Into the box now, Travis Darno. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Travis Darno with the solo home run. Third home run for him on the year as this lead got even wider. on the bump is wishing there was a mercy rule in professional baseball right about now. Hey, but there's no such luck. He's just got to own those back-to-back -back homers and the rest of it until he gets off the hook, which might be very soon. Stepping in now, Robert Gesellman. Here's a hard-hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. But they managed to bat around as nine men come to the plate and six of them score. We played four full. The Mets lead it 11 to nothing. Here's Jed Jerko now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. And he will take strike three call. He's got another one. Five straight strikeouts, and that's the first out of the inning. So another exceptional four. effort Catcher for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see there, he finds himself in sixth place in the category in the National League. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, look, he may be hitting at the bottom of the order. But you put him in another lineup, the he's at the top. This lineup is loaded. Don't Alex overlook him. Reyes. In now, Alex Reyes. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. And that one stayed too low, apparently. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. Outside and a full count, three and two. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts well, left and right. But what's really Don't impressive stop. to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Standing in now, Oledmus Diaz. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a liner. But there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. Cards leave one. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. At the plate, Jose Reyes. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. A high fastball is in there. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Mm, three and two. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. And Peralta's throw is in time for route number one. The shortstop, number 13. Digging in and looking for more. Drubal. That's Drubal Cabrera. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. One-one pitch coming now to Cabrera. 
And that misses two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Oh, Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count. But clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. A cold strike on the inside corner. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Full count. Here it comes. A shot down the first baseline. But this will get foul so they'll do it again. Three and two. He'll try it again, three and two. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. He's set and the two one pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Hit hard down the line, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. That's what happens when you put the ball in play. Three two count. You start the Offense runner. He puts the, the ball in play. Now you're sitting Second first and third. Play. Love it. Neil Walker. Into the box. Neil Walker. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Runners at the corners, two men out. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. Mm, it's ball four. Right about now, the manager's three. questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. It is Curtis Granderson. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Has a look. Now the pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Let's go one more time, baby. He's set. Here's the two two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Three two with the bases loaded. Now a swing, and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And oh, this one drops. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next three, two. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to the right side. And he goes down to the knee, but that's by him a base hit. One run is scored. And they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. 
Well, that's a nice base hit right there. And he is so close to having a cycle. With one thing short. And the toughest one of them all, the triple. He's gonna looks like he's gonna get another at bat. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Set and the two and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Another 2 2 offering. Mine toward the alley in left center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games. And he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ballgame. Darno. Here's the catcher Travis Darno, and this is just the eye test talking here but this reliever looks fatigued to me doesn't seem like his stuff is really effective right now. Yeah I can't disagree with that Matty he's allowed a couple of runners to reach here in the inning and the command just doesn't seem to be there anymore. I got to think they're going to turn to a bullpen option very soon if not right away. One and two now. Runners on first and third, two away. In the dirt that time, but a good block there by Molina to keep it close. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Mets are out on top, 14 to nothing. Here's Dexter Fowler now, a hit in two tries so far. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the lead leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Digging in to try it again, Matt Carpenter, one for two on his line so far in the game. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Pro gets him, two down. The batter. Left Here's Randall Gritchick. Randall it's been an Gritchick. 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Boy, Matt, he's making this good team look silly. He's about one pitch away. I mean, one good strike. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Cardinals. But this one's pretty much over 14 to nothing. Trevor Rosenthal. Gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Riding in once again, Robert Gesellman getting to hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. in the air now out to left field. Grichik giving chase and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. 
third baseman number seven Jose Reyes. ready for another shot now Jose Reyes he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left hander has begun to get loose oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. The shortstop number 13. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Rosenthal's ready. 2 1 on its way. A changeup over the inside corner. Not too often do you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming on is Fowler. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're still on cruise control, 14 to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Digging in once again, Stephen Piscotti. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Now batting. Here's Johnny Peralta now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. After it is Granderson. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Here's Jed Jerko now. Two away Jerko. in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. But this one's pretty much over. 14 to nothing. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just did not care. If he hit the ball hard, I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. Into the box now, Jay Bruce lined hard toward right center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. The relay. Oh, and the throw is in and out of the glove. And as a result, they won't get anybody on the play. Wow. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Standing in now, Neil Walker. And this one misses for ball four. And now that'll load him up here with nobody out. Now batting. Center fielder. It is Curtis Granderson. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. The 1-1 pitch. 
And the changeup is way low that time. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. 3-2 with the bases loaded. On the ground up the middle, Diaz scoops it up. Peralta for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. A hey, base is loaded. Okay. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. In now, Wilmer Flores. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Rosenthal's ready, two one on its way. And a fastball just a bit high. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. Too high, ball four, and they're at the corners now with two away. Now batting, catcher, Travis. Ready once again, Garneau. Travis Garneau. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Runners at the corners, two men out. Here's a look over to first, a dive, but he's back. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. But well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Eighth inning coming up. Mets out in front, 15 to nothing. Rafael Montero comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Rafael Montero. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yadier Molina. He's one for two in the ball game. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Lays off two and two now. All even at two and two. Here it is. Line toward right center. And that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. Well, every at bat counts. I mean, it's a nice piece of hitting. It's late in the game and obviously a losing the pitcher cost. But I'll take my single. Trevor Rosenfall. Matt Adams please. will come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 32, Matt Adams. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Matt Adams goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Something to be said for home cooking, apparently, as you get a look at our line score. This one never in doubt, as the home standing nine have outplayed their guests in every facet of the game. No runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a changeup here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Grounded to short. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And now this is bobbled and left. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their Center best field, opportunity to get on the board. They've been shut out the Next whole game. Fowler. Into the box, Dexter Fowler. 
He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. After it is Granderson, two gone. Now batting. Here's Matt Carpenter. He was retired Matt via the ground Carpenter. ball last time up. Two down, runners at first and second. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. He'll try again, one, two. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. He spoils another one, and will do it again. Here he comes again, one, two. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Hard strand a couple. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. Jonathan right. Broxton play. enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Jonathan Broxton. Ready now, Rafael Montero. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. A ball hit hard to the left side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Throw into second. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Oh, my goodness, Matt. A relief pitcher getting a hit? That's just not the way it's written up. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes in there, one and two now. A runner at first with no outs here. To two balls and two strikes now. Oh, he missed that pitch. I tell you what, that's the pitcher. He's got to gain his composure. You can see guys fall apart if you see a ball in the zone that long, get called a ball on it. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Here's another 2-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Grichik coming in, but he won't get there. It falls in. Oh, he hits a little dying quail behind the infielder. I tell you what, he couldn't have thrown that ball any better. Talk about placement. That was perfect. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll get back in standing. First and second here with nobody out. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. And he puts it on the ground to second. A bare hand for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was well, off to a rough start, 30. right? But nothing changes Michael, that like a good Michael. old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. 
He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Fowler has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets strand one as they can't add to their slim 15 to nothing lead. Now, beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Ready for another chance? Randall Gritchick. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out and over the course of the season it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching on the ground to third right there is Reyes. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting right fielder. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Taking all the way that time. It's three and one. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level ready to deliver the full count pitch swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory Flores will get there as he's able to tuck this one away just past the first base dugout for out number two Johnny striding into the box Johnny Peralta he flew out in his last at bat bases are empty here with two men out hit down the third baseline but a foul ball one and two the count now and now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now well you don't want to get caught looking for the final out that's a tough pitch to lay off impressive that he did two out nobody on This one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean to recognize that and lay off it right now. That, that was nice. And he'll put this one away for the final out and the Mets have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. Well just another day at the office for these guys that stretches their winning streak to five and they're playing well in all three phases of the game pitching fielding and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. 15 nothing the final in this one. New York seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Robert Gesellman earns win number seven on the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Michael Walker couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB the show for more. Don't forget to check out the show Time of the ball game four hours and 19 minutes. Tonight's fate attended that city field. 45,000. The Mets, thank you for your continued One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time. Wow! Utley sprawled in the dirt, flipped it back, and accurately to Gonzalez for an out. Oh, what a play. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Block.